search for a person of interest in a murder investigation, a bail bondsman was found dead last week inside the business he owns along West Michigan Street. That's in Orlando. And new at 11, New 6's Troy Campbell spoke with one of the victim's longtime friends, Troy. Well, Ginger, the friend says that the victim leaves behind his wife and his three children, adding that he would do anything to help the clients that he's been serving here in the Orlando area for decades. And tonight, detectives hope that that new surveillance image, it helps them find out who killed him. Who would do that to Jim? Michael Barrington says he's known 53-year-old James Cole since the 1990s, both working as bail bond agents. Barrington says on Friday afternoon he was passing by in the neighborhood when he saw all of the commotion. And I saw the police lights and as I got close I saw the yellow tape and I was like, oh my goodness, what happened? You know, and immediately I started making phone calls and that's when I found out. The Orange County Sheriff's Office says it received a call into 911 after 1 p.m. The caller stating they couldn't get a hold of their loved one. Responding deputies discovering Cole dead from an apparent gunshot wound. Detectives releasing this image, calling this man a person of interest, saying he left the area with another woman shortly after Cole was killed. His wife, they're grieving really hard. And she, I even talked to her today. She just asked that everybody just kind of give her space, let her grieve. Barrington says Cole was also a proud father of three sons, using his bail bond business to help better the lives of the people he served. He has gone beyond to help people. Uh, give them food, give them money, you know, if they need it, if they were short, you know, to get food for their family. I've seen it. I've watched it. And I'm like, who would do that to such a guy? And the sheriff's office says that Cole was targeted. This was not a random crime. Anyone with information on his murder is asked to call Crime Line, which is offering a reward up to $5,000. Ginger, Matt. Troy Campbell reporting live tonight. Troy, thank you.